And we will begin with the member from Washington, Representative Weems. Uh, thank you, Madam Speaker. Uh, I'm exceedingly proud to uh, have served uh, with distinguished professionals here in the People's House. Um, we're working towards a, a common goal of serving our citizens as well as improving the state of Minnesota. Uh, I'm also very excited to have uh, had the honor of serving my community in Washington County. So I had two speeches prepared. I had the great speech and I had the short speech. I consulted my speech contractors and they told me, uh, make it a great short speech. Um, they also told me, Dad, <laughs> be drippy, dress drippy, and don't be awky. So girls, I'm gonna do the best I can today. Uh, my relationship with this building, uh, the wonderment that I have for this building started when I was in fifth grade. Uh, we did our field trip here. Uh, I was in awe of the uh, Golden Quadriga, uh, the marble, the portraits, just the ornate chambers. And um, Cass Gilbert, genius. Probably should have it, would have a YouTube uh, capital improvement show if you were here today. Um, as a teen, my mom, who was a career teacher, uh, received two crystal apples from the governor, um, wanted me to be the best that I could be and wanted me to be informed. She brought me to caucus, uh, again as a teen, and she said, let's talk about uh, all the candidates. And so at the end of that caucus, uh, we talked, and I was impressed by Ronald Reagan because he was positive, he was a unifying factor, um, and he was a decent person. And um, from there, um, I went to uh, my ninth grade civics class, Mr. Bierman, and that was sort of my framework, how does the legislature work? Um, plus that cartoon, a bill on Capitol Hill. Um, in thanks, I just, I don't want to miss anybody, so I'm going to do the corporate uh, type, uh, type of thing. Uh, first of all, the pages have been wonderful. Thanks for the program that you run here uh, for the juniors, uh, and as well as our professional pages and Chief Clerk and, and your folks who do a great job. And uh, Sergeant at Arms, thank you for keeping us safe. Um, and uh, also the partisan and nonpartisan staff that uh, makes us all look good. And J.R. Swanson, I'm coming over after this to sign those final grad letters, so have them ready for me. Um, I want to thank my leadership team, uh, Leader Damoth and Deputy Torkelson. Um, thanks for assigning me the committees that, uh, that I enjoyed, that I felt that I could uh, contribute something, something to, and also the task force. Um, my judiciary teammates, uh, Chair Becker Finn, as well as uh, Lead Scott, um, learned a lot, learned a lot. Thanks, thanks for gaveling. There is, uh, there's a certain person that's not here today that I had a quippy statement about, uh, and I'm gonna save that and do that in person with that person, because um, he uh, needs to be tenderized occasionally, and the gavel works. Um, also on the workforce, uh, thank you, uh, Chair Zhang, and uh, Lead Baker, I'm gonna point over to where he would be uh, if he was here, and uh, remember the secret sauce. Um, my veterans uh, teammates, I see uh, Chair Newton is not there. Um, uh, he was a great leader, uh, as well as uh, Lead Bliss. Uh, we did a lot for veterans um, last year and this year, and was, uh, uh, I was very, very proud of, of, of what we did. Also, I want to thank uh, my teammates on the Metropolitan Governance Task Force, uh, a decent man that does things to make people's lives better, a principled and fair leader, Chair Hornstein. Thank you so much for uh, what you did on that committee, and I appreciate our conversations. Um, and also, uh, Vice Chair Feist, our collaboration uh, for helping restore people. I think there's, there's a lot in our community uh, not just for veterans, but for other people that are suffering. So thank you for stepping out and working with me. Um, my seatmate Murph, who uh, basically pushed all my buttons when I wasn't here, I was doing something else, so thank you. Oh, and then Bernie. Bernie, uh, Bernie does a good job backing up Murph. Um, also, I have a fond memory, not too long ago, of being gaveled here. Um, that's when uh, Speaker Pro Tem Her uh, was in charge, and I ask for applause for veterans, what we were passing the bill, and um, I think it was worth it. So thank you for that. And uh, 
I just want to make one thing clear um, so there's no confusion. Would Representative Mike Weiner stand up? So I'm Mark Weems. That's Mike Weiner. Mike, Mark, Mark, Mike. Okay. So we got that clear. There was one bill early on that was mixed up and had my name on it. It was Mike's bill. So we've got that. Uh, in closing, um, my dad was uh, really liked Lincoln, and uh, he would have Lincoln quotes and memorized the Gettysburg Address. And about a week before he passed away, he was he he did it verbatim and uh, and aced it. And so when I would have those challenging days, I take a deep breath. I'd glance up at the portrait of our greatest president, I believe, and uh, I would ponder on one of those phrases my dad would always say, and that is, whatever you are, be a good one. Thank you, Madam Speaker.